Hello everybody, it's me, Dr. Sandra Lee, AKA Dr. Pimple Popper. I wanted to just give you a little quick introduction for this particular video and, and, and really kind of explain it a little bit. This gentleman, his name is Jonathan. He was so nice to allow us to film this. Um, he has keloids on his ears, both his ears, which you're gonna see in a little bit. And I want to show you that after we treat him with the, the treat the keloids, we're gonna use this uh, device here, this fancy device, it's called the Census. This is the Census device. It's a superficial radiation treatment or SRT. And uh, we actually had to get the whole room lead lined to just be able to use this. As you can see, we have um, lead apron to cover you know, your, your throat and to cover your body when we treat people. And we have like special kits that are used to really design um, uh, treatment area so that we're really protecting all normal skin. But we use this after keloids, rem after removing them, to really increase the chance of them not coming back. It really has been game changing for keloids and really allows me to remove keloids with much more confidence that it's highly likely to not return. How long did you get your ears pierced here? I've had these for like a year now, but I got my ears pierced like in eighth grade. Oh, okay. So you had another piercing and it didn't happen, you mean? No. What do you mean? You, wait, you said eighth grade, you had these since eighth grade, but you got them pierced again? Or So since eighth grade, they were, well, okay, that was just last year, duh, okay. I get yeah. it. Or, or two years ago, right? Yeah, it was just last year, so. Yeah, he turned, because well, it was his birthday, and they took him to get his ears pierced. Oh, my God. And then this stuff happened, I don't know, I guess a few months later. Mm -hmm. And then they were small, and I thought it was, oh, maybe it was just a zit. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, eventually they got really big. More. And then here we are. Yep. I want to see if I can take some of this top portion. You can just get rid of the keloidal tissue, obviously. You okay? Just let us know. I know you can hear things. I can hear things. Yeah. I can't feel Look, anything. It's like a little zit. She's, he's got there like a calcified. Yeah. Interesting. Calcium. You made a little diamond under here. Yeah, a little, a little calcium under there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See if I can't take some of this top part and use it. So we just kind of draw that out a little bit. So that is keloidal tissue there, that stiff keloidal tissue. And he has got, got some calcification of it. That's those white little things you have in there. Sorry, it's got to be loud for you, but it's right there on your ear. You're doing great. This thin part off. Look how I think the keloid. Did they shave this off before? Like shave it just flat? Or your dad? No, your dad did a little like something on one of them, right? Uh, but the they, bigger one. You, you, you I, didn't. I, you just tried to poke it, maybe, yeah, to see I if it squeezed out. Yeah. Right. Right. Bring it out. I didn't do anything to that one. That was. All right. That one's on its own. Yeah. 
I don't think I could thin this. Let's try to see if I could, but I don't think it will. One's gone, and then I just want to make sure all this little tissue's gone. So let me look and see. Don't feel anything, though. <laughs> I'm oh, sure he'd tell us. Very loud. Yeah. <laughs> My hair is just like snipping and mm -hmm. stuff like that. At least you don't hear the keyboard screaming <laughs> outside. <laughs> no! I'm buzzing. Sorry, that was loud. I didn't see what we got now. Let's see what that looks like. So we kind of have to. I want to, your earlobe might be a little bit smaller. Yeah, we just don't want it to be like a weird shape, you know? Yeah. So, that's what I'm looking into now. I just want to, I'm just doing what we're calling undermine, where I loosen the skin around so I can pull it together. So we've had one treatment already with the device, and this is going to be our second treatment. And he's going to be all good at it. He's going to assume the position really well. Let's go get down in that position. <laughs> this looks good too. Swollen too, so it makes it a little weird shaped, but that's going to get better. Very good. I mean, it didn't feel bad and I didn't feel any pain or anything. So I have no complaints really. It was just an awkward position. But besides that, I'm very happy that they're gone. Yeah. And it seems like they won't be coming back. So, yeah. Yeah. And then how does your ear feel now that you have less weight on it? Uh, my ear? I feel like the doctor's been kind of babying them. But like during the whole week, I really didn't feel anything. It really didn't feel that tender except for like two hours after the surgery. But after that, I really didn't feel anything. Okay. And then were you expecting yours? Were, how did you initially think this treatment was going to be and how did it turn out? Uh, I thought the treatment wasn't going to take as long. And I thought it was going to be something else, not a big machine, but I still have no complaints. The only thing that was really painful was the surgery, just how sore my ear was after the surgery, but after that, it was fine. Okay. And then, are you going to show off your new ears at school? Yeah. Yeah? You're excited that yeah. you don't have this bump anymore? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Did you always cover it up with, like, hoodies at school? Yeah. yeah. For a whole year. Yeah, and especially in the summer, it was hard, right? Yeah, it was hot, and... 
tried looking for sleeveless hoodies, but it just didn't work out. So. Yeah. Did your friends ever make comments about your keloids? Yeah, sometimes, but then they got used to it. They kind of, they yeah. kind of understood that it, it's not fair to, you know, have these things on your ear. Yeah. Yeah. And I do football, so like they have to see them pretty much every day. So. Yeah.